I love tweaking off caffeine every single day of my life. I swear to God almighty, I would sacrifice a family for a green prime energy. I'm for real like a 12 year old. I like to pour them into Baja Blast freezes from Taco Bell and they make a heavenly mixture. But getting to my level of caffeine addiction isn't as pretty as Baja Blasts and Primes. There's a very long and dark process of heartbreak and isolation that needs to take place inside of you. Anyone who's been through the caffeine addiction ringer would know this truth. But like all addiction, it starts in baby steps. Probably. I don't really know. I'm not a psychologist, but you know. Level one, you're only drinking like 30 to 40 milligrams of caffeine occasionally. This is the caffeine that's in tea or soda that you probably don't even know is in them shids. Most people in this phase are white moms that do yoga or 11 year olds that would sacrifice their arms for an extra can of Mountain Dew so they can stay up just a little bit later at the boys sleepover. Level two is around 90 milligrams of caffeine, which is about a cup of coffee. At this point, you're popping a whole Joe, as we say in Philadelphia, and they make you feel like an unstoppable machine. This is the healthy level where you really only drink coffee if you're tired and need a little extra boost to get through your terrible day. This is also the amount of caffeine that's in a scoop of gamer subs. Please buy gamer subs with code Ninja. I want to make money because as they say, you can never have more money. Level three is around 90 milligrams of caffeine again, except it's every single day. Once you get to the point of drinking coffee daily, you have a little bit of a dependency developing. Now it's really starting to look like the early stages of an addiction, which is pretty awesome. But what's more awesome is that you at least feel the coffee. You haven't gotten so far down the addiction that the effects start to wear off on you, but you're on your way there. Level four is when things start to get a little dark. This is when you get around 180 milligrams of caffeine. That's about two cups of coffee, or maybe you're starting to dabble into energy drinks. You're not downing the crazy energy drinks like Gamer Fuel or Rain Energy, but rather the more reserved drinks like Prime and Celsius. If you don't drink this much caffeine, it probably sounds like an ungodly amount that no one would ever possibly need. But to help you understand what brings a man to this point, let me run you through a scenario. Let's say you meet a girl at school and she seems really nice. You start texting her and get to know her more on a personal level. Then it progresses to the point where you guys are hanging out outside of school and eventually you start dating. You've been with her for a solid, let's say three to four months. This is the happiest you have ever been in your entire life and everything feels great. Then one day you get a Snapchat from her, which isn't unusual. So you go to open it and you see a guy you don't recognize. A guy way bigger than you and way more jacked than you, giving POV back shots to the girl you loved more than ever anything. This sends you down a dark psychological path, thinking that the bigger and stronger you are, the more girls you'll get. So you start going to the gym six times a week and abuse caffeine on a daily basis to push yourself through the gnawing numbness that you feel deep in the core of your being. This is when the caffeine addiction really starts. Level five is 200 plus milligrams a day. It starts to become way too much effort to make the multiple cups of coffee that it requires for you to function daily. That's why you've turned to drinking energy drinks every single day. You start to get real familiar with energy drinks and maybe even pick a favorite. Maybe you're a femboy and you enjoy a good white monster, or maybe you eat scrap wood and you enjoy rain. Either way, you love it, but that doesn't last long because this is probably the last level that you'll actually still feel energized from the effects of caffeine. Level six, at some point your body gets used to all the primes and double coffee. So you need to upgrade to the limit. And according to the FDA, the limit is 300 milligrams of caffeine. This is the point of no return. This is also when powders start to come in, mainly pre-workout. You're probably risking heart failure in the next few years, but what's heart failure in the face of a Naruto Sage Mode gamer fuel with a nasty pump in the gym? You can literally not function as a human being 
eating without caffeine and getting off of it now would make you hollow for at least two weeks. You can't go back anymore. So the only place to go now is level seven. You're completely locked into 300 milligrams on a daily basis at this point. And your brain is so fried. You don't even feel energized anymore. Your months and years of caffeine abuse have left you completely and utterly numb to it all. You drink pre-workout every single morning of your life just to feel normal and you start to question what the point of it all was. If taking all this caffeine just makes you feel normal, then why would you even take it in the first place? Well, that doesn't really matter anymore because you can't go back to not drinking it, so those thoughts are pointless. Going past 300 milligrams either feels like nothing or completely terrible. All that lifting and caffeine abuse you've been doing to get over your girlfriend cheating on you wasn't to make yourself look awesome. The reality was that you're just running from yourself, using empty feelings to fill the void and run further and further from your own misery. Anyways, caffeine is really awesome and feels cool sometimes. Ninja Gamer subs, buy them now, subscribe, bye!